Good evening, children. Today I am going to uh, start uh, uh, statistic for ninth and tenth standard student. Your topic is graphical representation in tenth class or ninth class. I have given project work related with this chapter. That's why I thought to make understand properly all students. and you all also try to understand graphical representation the statistical data can be represented by many types of diagram chart and uh, after collect collection of observation with uh, several types of diagram uh, just like your chart uh, chart diagram flow chart bar diagram histogram like this many types of diagram but out of several types of diagram we have to study about in this class 9th and 10th class we have to study about histogram and that topic i have given histogram frequency polygon and ogive three topics i have given first going to start histogram going to start histogram a histogram is a two dimensional graphical representation of continuous frequency distribution chart a histogram is a two dimensional is a two dimensional graphical representation of a continuous frequency distribution there are two types of two types of data one continuous data and other is discontinuous data inclusive and exclusive first i think i am explaining about continuous data and after that in discontinuous data i will explain some different types also exclusive inclusive first number is a uh, is continuous data for continuous data suppose your data is given like this in class interval class interval 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 20 30 30 to 40 like this class interval just example i am explaining is given and their frequency is is grouped data that means 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 all collected observation in uh, are converted in the class interval and their frequency gradually we will put 0 to 10 suppose it is 6 it is 8 this 10 and this one is suppose 12 then Along the x-axis, there are two axes. In your graph, there are two axes: x-axis and y-axis. This vertical line is y-axis. Along y-axis, generally we will take frequency. Frequency, and along x-axis, we will take class interval. is class interval and this point is zero and now from 6 8 10 12 we can take two to interval frequency if large number is given then like that we will divide and show that they are first starting point and end point both should cover in the vertical axis and horizontal axis 0 to 10 is 6 first we will start dividing 10 in your graph paper also it is divided in 10 20 30 40 50 like this till infinity and there 6 8 10 12 so two to interval we can take 2 4 6 8 9 10 12 according to your requirement 
you can take any interval but it should be uh, equal in each number and there also we can't take 0 to 10 10 to 40 40 to 70 like this we can't take in equal interval we have to divide along x axis and along y axis now 0 to 10 0 to 10 till 6 and then by a scale by a scale you can draw it like this 0 to 10 till 6 now 10 to 20 10 to 20 till 8 we have to draw it again and it is continuous rectangles we will draw the rectangles in continuous frequency that is the histogram and 20 to 30 20 to 30 is 10 20 to 30 and then 30 to 40 is 12 this is the easiest example I have given just to make understand you you can uh, put uh, some sh shade also like this uh, to make a nice uh, graph it is for histogram for continuous data continuous that means it, if uh, the if the lower limit of first class is co coincide with the sorry upper limit of first one class coincide with the lower limit of a second class you can see it all are equal all are equal it is called continuous data it is called continuous data or exclusive data now second number is histogram for discontinuous data histogram for discontinuous data going to start your continuous uh, discontinuous grouped data I would like to explain some terms which is related statistic just like first number is your class interval and class limit in place in uh, class limit suppose interval is given 10 to 20 20 to 30 then this 10 to 20, 10 to 20, it is called class interval. 20 to 30, it is a class interval which is bounded by two number 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. This range is bounded by this two number in which the lower, uh, this in which the uh, a small number 10, is called lower limit and larger number is called upper limit. It is lower limit and this one is upper limit. In the same way other intervals also they are lower limit and upper limit. It is called class interval which is bounded by the two number 10 to 20, 20 to 30 in which the smaller number is called lower limit and the larger number is called upper limit. Okay. Next. Now, the there are two types of frequency. First is inclusive and second is exclusive. There are two types of limit. Class limited. First is two types of data. First is inclusion and second is exclusion. First is inclusive and second is exclusive. 
get two types of distribution of frequency first is inclusive and second is exclusive in inclusive class interval suppose it is 0 to 10 and again 11 to 12 11 to 20 0 to 10 11 to 20 and again 21 to 30 that means and suppose frequency 3 6 2 is coming class interval and this one is frequency this type of class interval this type of frequency distribution table two types of frequency distribution table two types of distribution table distribution table first is inclusive and second exclusive in inclusive 0 to 10 and again 11 to 20 then 21 to 30 and their frequencies are like this in it means in this type of class interval in first class upper limit does not coincide with the lower limit of second class in the same way for second uh, class also upper limit does not coincide with the lower limit of third class this type of uh, di uh, distribution is called inclusive but suppose by chance inclusive is given then we will convert it in exclusive form Ex in exclusive form exclusive form means this one is exclusive and exclusive means 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 3 6 4 suppose like this it is an exclusive then this inclusive form we will convert in the form of a exclusive in the form of a exclusive well, of your now how to convert how to convert inclusive in exclusive form suppose one example is class interval is 0 to 10 11 to 20 21 to 30 and 31 to 40 is given and their frequency is 3, 4, 2, 1. Like this frequencies are given. It is inclusive form. Now there is a formula. There is a formula adjustment factor. To convert it in exclusive, you we use one adjustment factor. The formula of adjustment factor is adjustment factor is how to convert inclusive form in exclusive form to convert it there is a formula of adjustment factor we will use adjustment factor adjustment the formula is equal 1 by 2 difference between difference between upper limit difference between lower limit of second class minus upper limit limit of first class is equal 1 by 2 difference between lower limit of second class 
lower limit of second class is 11, 11 and upper limit of first class is 10. It means 1 by 2, 11 minus 10 is equal 1, is equal 1 by 2. It means 0 0.5 is an adjustment factor. Now we will use this adjustment factor to convert inclusive in the form of exclusive. Then how we will use? And now construct another uh, table of class interval minus 0 0.5 and then 10 plus 0 0.5 in the same way Eleven minus zero point five to twenty plus zero point five, and then twenty one minus zero point five to thirty plus zero point five, then thirty one minus zero point five minus forty plus zero point five. This interval is converted, is converted 0 minus 0 0.5. As in my data, all positive numbers are given. So for 0 minus 0 0.5, we can start from 0. And other numbers we will subtract, can start from 0. And then 10 10.5 and from second class we will start a subtraction is 10.5 to 20.5 and then 21 minus 0.5 is 20.5 to 30.5 and then 30.5 to 40.5 in this way, class interval is converted in exclusive form. This type of form, continuous frequency distribution is called exclusive form. This inclusive is converted in exclusive and now we will go through the general process in this way. After conversion, class interval in exclusive, we will go in general form. And after this, I am going to start your uh, discontinuous discontinuous that means uh, this uh, type of data is discontinuous if like this given then we will convert it in exclusive in continuous form and then go through the general method go through general method okay next now there are two term first uh, class size and second is class mark class size and class mark class size is difference between difference between actual lower limit minus actual uh, sorry difference between actual upper limit minus actual lower limit any class interval is given class interval 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 13 suppose like this given 2 3 4 their frequencies frequencies are given then then there are two term class size and class mark. Class size is equal, class size is equal, difference of actual upper limit minus low, actual lower limit. Difference of, of actual upper limit 
माइनस एक्चुअल लोअर लिमिट एक्चुअल मीन्स इफ योर क्लास इंटरवल इज गिवेन इन इंक्लूसिव फॉर्म देन आफ्टर कन्वर्शन ऑफ एक्सक्लूसिव देन इच क्लासेज आर इन इंक्लूसिव फॉर्म एंड दैट इज एक्चुअल अपर लिमिट एंड एक्चुअल लोअर लिमिट इन इंक्लूसिव वी कॉन्ट टेक देयर लोअर लिमिट और अपर लिमिट नाउ इन दिस क्लास इंटरवल एक्चुअल अपर लिमिट इज ट्वेंटी माइनस टेन दैट इज टेन इट इज द क्लास साइज क्लास साइज एंड सेकेंड टर्म इज क्लास मार्क क्लास मार्क्स में से क्लास मार्क्स में से एक्जेक्ट मिडिल पॉइंट ऑफ ऑल इंटरवल क्लास मार्क्स में से अपर लिमिट प्लस लोअर लिमिट डिवाइडेड बाय टू अपर लिमिट प्लस लोअर लिमिट डिवाइडेड बाय टू इट मीन टेन प्लस ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाय टू दैट ट्वेंटी प्लस टेन इज थर्टी बाय टू इज इक्वल फिफ्टीन दैट मीन्स एक्जेक्ट इन द मिडिल इज द क्लास लिमिट और क्लास लिमिट सॉरी क्लास मार्क बोथ टर्म इज क्लियर both terms are clear now i am going to explain frequency polygon your second term is a frequency polygon all related terms also i explain one easiest question i have taken to draw the frequency polygon second number is a frequency polygon i have given your project work also to draw uh, some question related with the graphical representation you can include all this question related with histogram frequency polygon and ogive suppose like this class interval are given it is clear that your class interval is exclusive because the upper upper limit of first class coincide with the lower limit of second class that's why it is a continuous frequency distribution it is exclusive form now we will draw the in, draw for in first step draw you, you have to write all the steps also what whatever you are doing step by step you have to write their steps also then in first step in first step you have to draw the diagram first step draw diagram and try to draw, draw this side suppose along the vertical axis and this side is along horizontal axis it is y axis and this side is x axis then to take the interval 0 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 12 it is it is a uh, easy to take you 0 to 4 in your graph you can take 0 to 5 5 to 10 like this also and according to this reading put uh, their uh, their value i am taking 0 to 4 because given it is 8 to 12 12 to 16 all are 4 4 interval 16 to 20 20 to 24 like this it is given and second lowest number is 4 and highest is 15 so we have to divide it in 4 to 15 I am taking two two interval. It is a two, four, six, twelve, and then fourteen, sixteen. Is sixteen. Now draw histogram. Zero to four. Zero to four is four. Is four. Now four to eight is seven. Six seven. Zero to four is 
like this 8 to 12 is 10 8 to 12 is 10 10 and then 12 to 16 12 to 16 is 15 12 to 16 is a is 6 to 16 15 and then 16 to 20 is 11 11 means here 20 and then 20 to 24 is 6 it means it is like this is it like this and now draw a frequency polygon that means in second state second step you will find out all midpoint first step draw the histogram draw the histogram and second step find out all the class mark that means middle point in in graph paper also you can find out exit in the middle one at the, at 0 to 4 then at 2 it is middle and if you want to understand by mathematical form then class mark, find out class mark of first interval is equal 0 plus 4 by 2 is 2. 4 to 8, 4 to 8, 4 plus 8 by 2, it means 6. Then 8 to 12 is equal 8 plus 12 by 2 is equal 20 by 2. is equal 10. 10. In this way all class mark we can find out. It is a class marks. All are class marks. And in graph paper also same thing we can use in graph. First number is 2 then put it 2 and circle it. And again second number middle point 2 put it circle there also put it circle and here also put it circle in this way and at same interval we will take this side also then join all the points this is the polygon join all the polygon with your free hand this is the frequency polygon is it in this way we can draw the frequency polygon. Now, set third number is OGIV. Third number going to explain OGIV. Same question for OGIV. I am going to explain. find out OGIP to find out OGIP and third number cumulative frequency polygon cumulative frequency polygon or OGIP cumulative frequency polygon cumulative frequency polygon it means sir for this frequency, we will calculate the cumulative frequency. Just like in this way, we will draw the table, this class interval, second number is frequency and third number is OG. First is 0 to 4, second is 4 to 8, 8 to 12, 12 to 16, 16 to 20, 20 to 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And all frequencies 4, 7, 10, 15, 
11 and 6. And next column, find out the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency means like this we will calculate. 4 is there. That means 4. Same number whatever in top. In first. That we will take. And then 4 is added by 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. And then 11 plus 10 is 21. And now 21 plus 15 is 36. And then 11 plus 36 added 47. Then 6 plus 47 is added is 53 in this way. These are the cumulative frequency. Now again we will draw the polygon or diagram same like previous but in this time previous it was on frequency at this time we will draw cumulative frequency and then same class mark we will find out between 0 to 4 what is it? 0 plus 4 by 2 it is 2 and 4 plus 8 class marks are same by 2 is equal 6 in the same way 12 plus 8 by 2 is 10 16 plus 12 is 14 is 14, 16, 17, 18 and now 20, 21, 22. Like this all class marks. And in uh, cumulative frequency when we add all frequencies just like 7 plus 4, 11, 11, 7 plus 4, 11, 11 and 5, 16, 17 and 17 and 6 is 23, 3, 2, 1, 3, 4, 5. It is 53. Both will be same. If your calculation is correct, then this is sum of all frequencies are same as the cumulative last class interval cumulative frequency. Now we will draw the same way. Like previous, draw the diagram. This time along x axis, along x axis your class interval as usual it is 0 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 12, 12 to 16, 16 to 20 and it is 24. And now this Cumulative frequencies, a smallest number is 4 and highest number is 53. So we will take the interval from 4 to 53, all numbers should cover there. That means I want to take 10, it will be better to take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 like this. And this side is class interval and along y axis it is a cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency. Now again 0 to 4 first is 4. First term cumulative frequency is 4. Exact middle is 5 so it will be till here is 4 next 11 4 to 8 is 11 11 and 20 next 8 to 12 is 21 is 21 to 12 36 12 to 16 is 36 and still here. In graph it is easy to take which number is given because 10-10 intervals are given in graph. 
16 to 20 is 47 16 to 20 is 47 and then 20 to 40 it is 53 so 53 will be till here now all class intervals and cumulative frequency are drawn and then we will put the class marks class marks are 2 6 10 it means exactly in the middle is same like previous we have to take their middle and circle it the gaps are same And now join all the point with your free hand. Don't use a scale. With your free hand you can join all the points. And last point will add the same interval down. It is a O-give. This one is a O-give. That means cumulative frequency polygon. Your last topic was a O-give cumulative frequency polygon. Cumulative frequency and frequency there is some difference. I would like to explain you what is difference. Difference mean, means between 0 to 4, 4 number. Between 4 to 8 there are 7 but cumulative means 0 to 4, 4 and again 4 to 8 means from 0 to 8 11s are there. 0 to 8 from, from beginning till 8, 11. Again, 21 means from 0 to 12, 21 are there. That means all numbers are added. 4 plus 7 plus 10 are there. And again, 8 to 12 frequency means 10 between 8 to 12. But cumulative frequency, it means from 0 to 12, 21. All are number 21. In the same way from 0 to 24 all numbers whatever sum of frequency is 53. That is difference between cumulative frequency and frequency. Understood? Now your all topics are completed. I hope you will complete your project work nicely. Okay.